Okay, today we are going to use ChatGPT to build system diagrams. Uh, a lot of people have done this. This person did it four months ago uh, using the same idea. Um, this is important uh, because people spend a lot of money on things like this. For example, the Canadian government creates what are called logic models. Logic models are sort of uh, very similar to these flowchart diagrams. Uh, not necessarily the exact same, for example, this one is slightly different. Uh, but you can see how it presents the shared relationships among resources, activities, outputs, outcomes, and impacts on your program. Uh, you could see how a, you might be able to, in the future, use something like GPT-4 to create these diagrams. Uh, let me show you just really quickly one of these diagrams. So we're going to be using... Um, Mermaid Live. Uh, it does. Uh, this is. It's actually fairly simple. You you take uh, the type of chart it's going to be, and then you map them in this way. I imagine it's probably it can be done in uh, in a more complex way. So I have I generated a list of things that we could use to um, just experiment with this. Um, right. Uh, mermaid code that describes, and then we're going to do this, and we'll see what happens. So, uh, I had it, I wanted to do more interesting things just for fun. Uh, I experimented with this a little bit, it, it's definitely far from perfect, but. Um, it does kind of do what you want. I can see how you would combine this with um, with other techniques, for example, giving it information. Um, like we could try, turn that, let's ask it, um, let's ask it to do this, so convert the following text into a mermaid code that describes the process from identified in the text. In the text, a little wordy, whatever, let's go. Okay, let's do something simpler. Okay, do this one instead. Accidentally did too. Okay, just this one. There we go. All right, a lot of troubleshooting here. So these people do a similar thing. Generate, and so you could take that in. Yeah, so let's see what they say. Such a long article, okay. What are the comments? <laughs> Spell check, okay everybody. Okay, let's try this. Does this work? So this is how it describes um, the booting up of a computer. Um, what did they try here? Dun, 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 dun. I'm disappointed it didn't do the government logic model as that would be very helpful. Um, let's try one more just for fun. So. Let's do this. Everyone loves, you know, SpaceX. Let's put that in. Flowchart. Let's do. Let's do the uh, the fancy official way of asking that. Okay. Um, mermaid is good. 
you know, the thing with corporate um, flow charts is they have to look pretty. Um, I don't think it's impossible to take this into a, you know, a beautification app uh, that makes it straightforward. But it, it, you know, and I was curious, I tried to Google, you know, to guess how much money is spent just making these, uh, these little documents and diagrams. It's probably quite a lot of money. Um, is it too much money? I don't know. But it's not insignificant. It would be... So, I don't know. Like, what is this... The problem with this line? Can we just get rid of this line? Will it work? Okay. So, that, that line causes the problems. Lift off... to this, to, let's just put IP, would this work? Okay, so this is the, this is the max Q, which is the maximum aerodynamic pressure, I don't know, I think that was the error, I wonder if I could fix the other ones, so there you have it. You know, I wanted it to uh, create a flowchart. Flowchart using mermaid.js syntax that um, describes the uh, relationship between parts in a hypothetical but accurate time machine. You know, the thing is, what's great about this is if there we, you know, at some point it could use the words to describe um, inventions that are legitimate. Not, not like little toys, but real, real things. Um, how will we get there, and if we are there yet, remains to be seen. Yeah, you have a power source. Oh, the time engine. <laughs> okay. Let's turn the phone. Let's turn turn the time engine into a flow chart. Let's turn the time engine into a flow Okay. The chrono regulator and the flux capacitor, the time dial, time stream generator, time bubble, occupants. I mean, maybe this is. <laughs> maybe it's right. I don't know. Certainly, a time engine. How would a time engine work? It's just fun. You can get this in. Obviously, you can just read it. Quantum energy source processor, frequency generator, temporal modulator. Very cool. I may cut out a lot of the uh, errors I made if I did that. Uh, I want you to know that I made a lot of errors making, <laughs> making these things work. Okay. Have a nice day. This is uh, how you do it. I'm going to put all these up there. Uh, it's, it's a very popular topic, and it's not, not new like this one was six months ago, four months ago. There's Gen 17, So, um, but this is new for me. So uh, there you have it. Bye.